So 99% of people don't realize what is coming because what is about to come has to do with property taxes. Now, you may be saying, well, I don't own a home. Well, guess what? If you rent a home, you rent an apartment, you rent a condo, you are still paying property taxes. It is just built in to your rent payment. That's it. So what we are about to face is an increase. We are about to see an increase, but here's the crazy thing. It might not be to property taxes. They may eliminate or reduce property taxes and move that tax somewhere else like sales tax or income tax. That's the scary thing that many people don't realize is right around the corner, but it looks like many states are about to do it. So I'm gonna break down what's going on in just a moment, but all I ask is one thing, it takes two seconds, go ahead, hit that like button if you enjoy these daily updates, and now let's begin. So how crazy is this? Many states are worried that their residents are paying too much in property taxes because their property values have surged over the past few years. But instead of giving them more benefits or giving them a break on their property taxes, now they're thinking about moving that tax somewhere else. I wanna show you this. It says homeowners are paying their higher tax bills, but sometimes with help or heartbreak. Now, I've talked to many people over the past you know, couple years, and one of the, these stories that really sticks out in my head is when an elderly couple had to sell their only vehicle, their only vehicle, because they had to pay their property taxes. So they had to sell the only asset they had other than their home was a car. This, and this was like last year, two years ago, I think it was last year, but they had to sell their only car in order to pay their property taxes. I don't, I don't know what happened after that, but how, how worried would you be if you had to sell your only vehicle in order to pay property taxes? It'd probably be rough, right? Well, here's what's going on. Right now, with home prices up more than 50%, some states are trying to contain property taxes, and what they're attempting to do is either reduce or eliminate. Here's where things get very interesting. We are seeing this fight for taxes. We've heard over the past couple of weeks, former President Donald Trump, he told people in Nevada that he wanted to eliminate all tax, all income tax on tips. You don't pay any income tax on tips. And then about a day or two days later, he was uh, at a uh, meeting in, the, uh, in Washington, D.C., and he told the Republican Party that he wants to eliminate all income tax in the you know, federal income tax. And instead he wants to uh, have a you know, alternative of uh, tariffs. That's his plan. Now, President, President Biden, he's even vowed to uh, not raise taxes on anybody making less than $400,000 per year. He, and he's been trying to stick to that over his entire presidency. Now, here's where things get very interesting. Congress needs to bring in more tax revenue in order to bring down our deficit. However, they can't do that under current president Joe Biden because he has many different you know, stipulations and it's creating an issue. Now I wanna read you this. Here's where things change. States are now looking to eliminate property taxes in order to give their residents a little bit more of a benefit, more money back into their wallet. But experts worry that the, this is just the first step. Okay, let me play this clip for you because I think this is interesting. Listen to this. But proposals to curb property taxes, which pay for things like local schools, roads, and fire departments, have frustrated homeowners across the country and will appear on many ballots this year. Voters in Colorado and Georgia will decide to cap all property tax revenue. Nebraska may take up a similar measure. Idaho and Michigan are considering getting rid of property taxes altogether, something experts warn could lead to a spike in income tax and sales tax. So that's where things get interesting because now experts are concerned that we could see a spike in income taxes and sales tax. This is where things really change. 
Because a change like this, again, why would a state do this? It's simple. They are saying that we are going to eliminate your property taxes. We are going to put a cap on it. Well, guess what? When you put a cap on property taxes, for one, that's going to create a problem for years in the future because, again, as the property gets more expensive, as we have inflation, as we're making more money, and you have a cap, you're going to have to go and raise that cap every single year. Well, essentially, there's no cap. That's not really a cap right? We're just trying to stick with inflation. We're just going to be indexed to inflation. Doesn't do much. And then if we eliminate all property taxes, well, the state has to receive that money from somewhere. Because for most states, about 30% of the, and I know for Washington state uh, for sure, but I think about 30% of all the, the revenue that Washington state gets, it's from property taxes. And these property taxes go to pay for things like schools, uh, fire departments. They go to pay for libraries and parks. Okay, that's what property taxes are going to. But here's the thing. Lawmakers have more, uh, pretty much more freedom to use money if it does not come from property taxes. It comes uh, from things like sales tax. Okay, in Washington State, we don't pay an income tax. So that's out of the question, but we do pay sales tax in every single county. And so that's the other thing, is if we pay higher sales tax, but no property taxes, then lawmakers can take that money because it's technically going into their general fund. And in their general fund, they can pay for uh, transportation, they can pay for infrastructure, they can pay for your raises, right? They can pay for a lot of different things, not just stuff based around property like schools, fire departments, libraries, and parks. So that's what's happening. At this time, we are about to see many states go from having a higher property tax to they're going to reduce it, which if they reduce it, great. Guess what that means for you? It means your home, your mortgage, right? It's probably going to go down. Okay. That will likely go down because again, your mortgage goes up. Every single year your your property taxes go up, guess what? Your mortgage, your that payment goes up as well because you got to pay for property taxes if it's lumped in with your actual mortgage. Here's the other thing. Renters. Like I said, if it's not just for homeowners, renters are going to pay this as well. If you currently have a a rental, okay? You're you're renting. Guess what? If you don't have to pay or your landlord does not have to pay, let's say $2,400 a year in property taxes, that means it comes down by $200 a month. Guess what? You should get that benefit. That means your rent should come down unless your landlord is pretty much going to say, well, screw you. I want an additional $200 a month. So just keep that in mind. Now, I want to leave you with one last thing. The reason why lawmakers are looking to make changes. And it doesn't necessarily mean they're gonna bring in more money, okay? The reason why they wanna make changes is simple. They need to figure out a way to take money from places that are making, you know, have a surplus of cash. Okay, they're bringing in more tax revenue than they actually need, and they wanna reallocate that somewhere else. But instead of trying to get the, the residents of that state to vote on these little changes, because again, most people aren't gonna care or have no clue what they're even talking about. They wanna do something big. Let's eliminate property taxes because that's huge. You eliminate a tax like property taxes, which is costing people thousands of dollars a year. Guess what? There's, and again, keep in mind, we're about up to an election. So all these things matter. Property taxes matter, sales tax matter, income tax matters, but the timing of all this, right? Right before an election, which obviously you gotta vote for these things, but it's right before an election. So if you are that lawmaker that brings that to the table that, hey, I got you this bill, no property taxes. Well, they're probably not telling you the other side. And this is why I'm telling you, 99% of people don't realize that this is even coming. And it is. But again, it's not in every single state yet. But my expectation is, If it doesn't happen in this election, 
in this voting cycle, it will likely be in the next one or two. So we'll see what happens moving forward. But as of today, that is what we know. So again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.